Hi, my name is Emily Hamstra, and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for the Network of the National Library of Medicine, Pacific Northwest Region. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about resources for COVID-19 research. I'm going to talk about four different resources, and then there are some additional resources listed in the handout for this session. So the four resources I'm going to be talking about are PubMed, Lit COVID, Disaster Lit, and Disaster Research Response. So let's start with PubMed. PubMed is a major index of journal citations for the biomedical and life sciences. There is some social science content in here as well. Uh, it has a new interface, so if you haven't used PubMed in a while, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. Uh, it works pretty much the same, but if you have any questions, uh, please contact me and I'll do my best to describe the differences between the new PubMed and, and legacy PubMed. Um, the new PubMed is mobile friendly, so you'll have all of the functionality that you have on your desktop or laptop on your mobile device. Um, some articles are available full text. Those are linked out to the publisher's website, so it really depends on the publisher whether or not an article is available full text. Um, when you're researching COVID, you'll find that there are a lot of full text articles because the publishers are making those freely available. PubMed has recently started indexing citations for preprint articles on COVID, so you're also going to see preprints included in your search as well. Um, of the databases that I'm going to be talking with you about, PubMed is definitely the most sophisticated. So this is a really strong and powerful search. Um, if, so for example, if I do a really basic search for, for COVID-19, PubMed automatically includes in my search all of the synonyms. So all of the alternate terms that we're using for COVID are automatically included in my search. If you've done a search in PubMed and you want to receive an email alert when new articles are added to the citation database that, that meet the parameters of your search, you can do that by clicking on Create an Alert, which is under the search box on your search results page. Then if you aren't logged in, you'll be prompted to log in with your PubMed account or you'll be prompted to create an account. And then you can fill out this form and we will email you uh, whenever there's a new citation added that matches your search. Lit COVID is a new database. Um, this one is uh, based off of PubMed citation data, um, but it works a little bit differently than PubMed. It's much more curated. Um, so this is updated daily. It is uh, only published articles, so you won't find preprints here, and you'll find uh, the full text of articles linked out from publishers' websites. Um, some of the really cool functionality about this is um, all articles are tagged with, uh, with different categories. So if you're looking for articles on prevention or forecasting, you can really easily drill down and look at just those results. Uh, I also like the latest publications feed on the home page, and this map shows the countries that are listed in article abstracts. Disaster Lit is an a index of gray literature. So this includes reports, ebooks, training materials, guidelines, fact sheets. There's a lot of really interesting stuff here. Uh, it's going to link to the full text, uh, which will be freely available online. Um, and all of these resources are coming from international organizations, federal agencies, nonprofits, and more. Um, you're going to find a lot here about COVID. Um, also, the wildfires are on my mind today, so, uh, and I know that there's a lot here on wildfires or other uh, public health issues. And last but not least is Disaster Research Response, or as we often call it, DR2. This is a repository of research tools and instruments. Um, there's a lot of, there are a lot of surveys here for COVID research. Um, they have a really interesting collection on COVID research on COVID and the social determinants of health. Um, so if you're doing any research in that area and have your own surveys or tools that you're using, I highly recommend submitting them to the database. Um, the NIH will review them and then include them here so that other people can find them and make use of them in their communities. If you have any questions about these resources or the resources in the handout, uh, please feel free to contact me. My contact information is here. 
and um, or if you have questions too about how to how to work with libraries in your community to share health information i have some ideas for you so thank you so much for your time and uh, i hope to, to talk with you soon